after I found the dead bodies, and I saw I can't help nothing, so I tried to go back to Olesice to uh, a lady, a widow lady, she was uh, Polish, um, to go to her. And I walked and I came back to her, so she was afraid to let me in because it was a law. Uh, whoever saves, uh, I mean, hides a Jew, their whole family will be killed. So uh, she was afraid that her family will be killed. But she let me stay till the evening. Later, she gave me a, a shawl. I should keep warm and have a bread and a few Polish sloty. And I went. Uh, I, I, she told me to go. It was dark outside. So I went to the end of the village. It was another family that I knew. They, they didn't open even the door. They were afraid to let me in. So I, they were farmers. So I went to the stables where they had the cows. I figured I will stay there to get a little warm. And I went into the stables and it was a little cow, a little calf was born, a new calf in the corner. So I embraced that calf and lie down with the calf uh, and, and to fall, fell asleep. Uh, the lady came in later to check on that calf and she invited me in. She saw me, she felt sorry let me go, but she told me right in the morning to go because she was also afraid of that law to hide the Jews. So I walked 32 kilometers to another train station where nobody knew me, and I bought a ticket to Krakow 